Hey guys, so finally we're able to do something that I've been you know, talking about and wanting to do for months uh, and after a very long wait, uh, finally um, can start doing some cooking and stuff. I think I'm going to call this Just Fit Tips. We'll see. Um, so what I want to do today, really simple, really quick, is just get into making Bulletproof Coffee the way that I make it now. Um, I've had a few, you know, I, I, I enjoy Bulletproof Coffee. Um, but I've had some reservation on some of the methods used to make it. Um, for one thing, uh, I used to have a Keurig um, and then I had a, an espresso. Um, now the reason why I no longer had a Keurig is because it broke and then um, I didn't want to get another Keurig because of all the plastic and waste. So I got an espresso and uh, the Nespresso, I don't know, just it didn't seem to give me the same coffee that it did in the store even though it's the same pods and stuff um it just didn't seem to be the same quality and i did a lot of reading on that and apparently had something to do with the fact that uh, at, the, at the nespresso stores those machines are running all day but when you take it home uh you know you're using it once in the morning and that machine just doesn't really have time to get warmed up and really really truly brew the way it's supposed to which is unfortunate because the, they're good coffee um so I've gone back to the old way of doing coffee, a good old drip coffee machine, um, because I make large, rather large cups anyways. So I don't feel like I'm really wasting too much. And that's a big, big concern of mine. I don't want to be creating a lot of waste. Um, so I, uh, yeah, make it in a good old drip machine when it decides to work. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, the other thing that I've uh, had an issue with, and I'm going to show you my solution for that a little bit later on, is the mess that it creates to uh, to make bulletproof coffee. You know, you brew your coffee, then you pull the blender, then you get this giant blender you got to clean up afterwards. So I wanted to find a way to make it quicker and easier and cleaner, um, and didn't require so much of a mess to really do it. Uh, so let's get into it. Got my butter. Okay, so. Uh, I've already put a filter in the machine, with the magic of video editing. Um, so there's already a filter in the machine, and I already added water to my uh, little what is it, a kettle. No, it's not a kettle. Wow, I have no idea what this is called. Coffee pot. There you go. Um, <clears throat> so I put it up to the uh, the four line, uh, maybe a little bit more, uh, because like I say, I do make a rather large cup of coffee. Fill that up. Okay, so that's full. Then, um, I find I like Folgers, but whatever brand you like. I might get into maybe getting some, uh, you know, some of those fancier ones that you can get ground at the, at the grocery stores. But um, And then I got this little guy. Uh, I believe we got it at Canadian Tire. I tried looking everywhere for a coffee scoop uh, because it's actually designed with the right numbers i know you can use other things but i always get made fun of by this by my wife but i always appreciate the right tool for the job um yeah maybe it's a guy thing but the right tool for the job always comes always does the great thing so i bought this little coffee scoop from Kane tire it was like two bucks and it's a perfect scoop is what you need it's 30 milliliters and with the way that the uh the math works on the uh, little container description instruction thing on the side here is that for my four cups of water that I put in here I'm going to put in two level scoops of my coffee and that's good to go and that's good to go so for now put that down that's the one thing that this thing that this thing it, it's 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 temperamental let's let's put it that way so i gotta make sure the filter thing's sitting right above the coffee thing properly else there's gonna be coffee everywhere so start running it this is gonna take a few minutes you guys haven't seen thor in a while Here, but oh, he thor's got huge <laughs> he's almost 20 pounds now i think i think i showed him to you when he's only a few like four or five months old something like that but he's a big boy now aren't you aren't you a big boy look this is my yeah this is the uh this is the um like the halftime show at super bowl except 
today it's with puppies. And personally, I prefer puppies over the halftime show at the Super Bowl. Right, Bug? Right, Bug? Okay. Oh, and this is Ella Bear. This is the mom, which is funny. Her and the dad are um, small compared to four. <laughs> hey, sweetie. Good girl. Okay, so while this is uh, brewing, I just want to quickly go over the the ingredients that go into uh, the coffee. Um, obviously, butter. Um, I like buying these little smaller um, ones because it just, I don't know, I find when you take the big stick of butter and then you're cutting it and you're putting the wrapper back on all the time, it just becomes this big gnarly mess. At least this, it's only a couple cuts and then you're done with it. Um, yeah. It's nice and manageable. Doesn't get as crazy. One of the things here in Kitchener, uh, we're, we're trying to find the different health food stores. We've gone to a couple, um, and there's been some there's been, been some really interesting finds so far. But the one thing I'm having trouble tracking down is Bulletproof brand MCT oil. Um, I haven't always used Bulletproof brand. I, I've used other brands and stuff. I use the XCT oils and stuff too. Um, so the only thing I could really find recently is this, this uh, Alpha Supreme MCT oil. Supreme! So, um, I don't know. It seems to be good, as far as I can tell. Um, yeah, I have no scientific way of testing this other than, uh, well, it still tastes the same and the Bulletproof Coffee seems to be working. So, there you go. Alpha Supreme MCT Oil. So those are my ingredients. This. is my Vader mug. Shut up, you stupid fridge. Of course, this, this stops and then the fridge starts. Yay, noise, woo. Okay, so the coffee's done brewing. Um, got the Vader mug. We got the ingredients that we need. Well, actually we're done with this. So that can go up there, we're done with that. We got our MCT oil and we got our burr, right? Am I going to put the coffee directly in the coffee mug? Oh, no, I'm not, because this is where my cleanup changes. I am going to use a good old immersion blender. And man, this is so much easier and quicker than using a giant blender to clean the shit. So one thing that I know is when I'm making this is that I use about 300 milliliters. Was it three? Maybe it was four. You know what, let's just go to four to be safe. So, so I learned how to do this cooking show stuff, you know, so people can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I've got the uh, coffee in the tumbler here and I'm gonna put in my butter. Two tablespoons. Oh, that's a lot of butter. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. I don't know why I'm doing a Jim Gaffigan voice, but whatever. All right, so one and two. See, that's what, that's what I'm talking about. That's really easy. It's really simple. It's nice and clean. And now I can just you know, pack all this back up. It's not a crazy mess like a big giant one would be. And then we're gonna put in, uh, you know, this is like a good old cooking show. About, uh, you know, two tablespoons, and that's a one, and that's two, right there, boom. Okay, MCT oil in the tumbler. All right, so, immersion blender, this thing is really simple. And I'm going to take this plug, I don't need you anymore. Oh, I don't know how to plug things in. Not very loud either, which is kind of nice. So I'm just gonna, you know, very nice and gently. I went too hard. Cause I've got it on full. I'm a dink. I 
I had to turn up on high setting because I was shit. Okay, well. All right, so um, that's done. Uh, no, so much for my uh, so much for my no mess. Uh, <laughs> Fuck, that's hilarious. Okay, maybe it was only 300 milliliters. Maybe I should test this beforehand. I don't know. I just lost a good chunk of my coffee there. Well, there you have it. The easy to clean bulletproof coffee. It's good great it's wonderful so is this mess well there you have it that's uh, the first episode of just fit tips hopefully many more to come just as exciting and amazing as this one uh, I guess I'll see you next time it's gonna clean up this fucking mess now hmm <laughs> yeah Awesome.